right now, as you can see, we're in Temple Bar. The place is dead during this pandemic. Everything is closed. And uh, we're in here, like I said, to ask a few questions, ask a few people and see how this has affected them. I ended up on uh, homeless on the streets. Okay. I am um, sleeping, I'm sleeping uh, like in doorways at the moment since the 11th of March. My mental health was shite, not gonna yeah. lie. Just don't hide it, bro. Yeah. Get me close, yeah. And there's people out there who will who, who, who talk to you about it, get me, yeah. bro. Mm. There's people out there who, who will talk about mental yeah. health and all, get me. You have to express your feelings. If you don't talk, it's good to talk, you know what I mean? Even if you don't know the person. Well, I tell you now, it wasn't too bad, would I? I have to be honest with you. It's just the first week or two, I, d I just got a shock. I didn't know what was happening. It doesn't scare me as much, and I think people should kind of think a bit positive more. I don't know, I felt kind of hard to socialise with people again, kind of get back to where you are. Well, we had online classes, and it just really badly affected my mental health. It was really I couldn't get out of my bed for ages. Like, it was just, I just felt, like, motivated to do nothing. I dropped out of school because, like, I couldn't cope. It's just, like, tiring at the same time. And plus, you wouldn't even have, like, time to go out. So that's when like my mental health started kicking in and it was just so bad. So as you can see guys, this is the reality in Dublin right now. As from everywhere, from shops to the banks, you have to queue up outside, you have to wear your mask, you have to be social distancing. It's crazy the time we're in, but this is the life we have to live. I'm after being robbed about four or five times. And what to do is to come in at night time when you're asleep in doorways and they just uh, rob you, rob try you. to take you anything. anything. Thank you for sharing that with us. We truly appreciate that. Thank you so much. When they open the store, just not knowing how much you're going to make, it's going to be a busy day. Even though a lot of people look at us and like, oh, he must be successful or no, because you have a shop. Yeah, yeah. But it's not like that. It's just, there's a lot of stress that comes with it and a lot of sleepless nights. And a lot of people look up to me, but deep down, I'm nervous every day about it. Also, I just want to say, like, the government are also defunding loads of eating disorder clinics at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. And that is a huge problem yeah. among, like, adolescent people. Yeah. yeah. And they're just not putting enough, like, health facilities into schools. I think that would be really beneficial. Guys, as you can see there, we're just on the way out of town. Um, it was very overwhelming. Everybody's affected by it. And there's a lot of emotions. There's a lot of people conflicted. And um, it's sad to see, it's a sad time for all of us. We're all not alone. We're all going through the same thing. So make sure to stay tuned for our next project. I'd like to see us on the next one.